We've talked about key and secondary light patterns and positions. Now let's talk about the subject's position in relation to the light. We have basically three common kind of subject placements or positions in relation to a light. And the first is going to be short lighting, and then we have direct or flat, and then we have broad lighting. Each one of these do different things. And because this is probably one of the last videos that I can use Anita's help, I want Anita to come help me. Anita, come out here real fast. I'm going to just put this LED light there. We don't need that guy. Okay. So. Let's start with direct, flat, or sym symmetrical light, okay? Now, there's lots of different symmetrical light patterns that we're gonna show you. We have paramount, we have clamshell with a fill underneath paramount, we have square, we have flat. Those are all examples of basically a flat, a direct, or symmetrical style light. Why is it symmetrical? Because on both sides of the face, it's on every side, it's all equal lighting. So we refer to it as basically a symmetrical light. This type of light is wonderful for creating extremely flattering types of portraits, okay? Because again, that symmetrical light is gonna light everything evenly, it fills in all the wrinkles, all the imperfections, and it creates a very beautiful flat look to it. That's great for beauty and fashion and portraits and so forth. But it's fantastic for showing symmetry in a face. And if somebody lacks symmetry, I mean, we all lack symmetry to an extent. If you guys actually take a photo of yourself Take a photo, cut it in half, and then put the left sides together and then put the right sides together. You'll notice that you look like two completely different people with the left sides connected on both sides and then with the right sides connected on both sides. You look very different, it looks scary. We all have a little bit of dissymmetry to the face, but if someone has a lot of dissymmetry, then what ends up happening is by using these types of lighting, this type of shot, you're exaggerating that. And so you wanna make sure that you avoid a symmetrical flat shot and that kind of lighting if the person does not have at least a average symmetrical face. Otherwise, you're really doing them an injustice. So let's talk about short or slimming type lighting. Now, short lighting is basically in reference to the position of the face in reference to the lighting, okay? So if I turn my face into the light a little bit, like this, okay? So my chin just basically moves towards that light. It leaves the broad side. So from the camera right now, the broad side of the face is this side, right? Because the short side is kind of away from us. The short side is what's lit and the broad side falls in the shadow. Now right now we have quite a bit of fill light coming from here so you don't see as extreme of shadows. But if you look on Olivia's face, you can see the short side being lit and the left side falling pretty deep in the shadows. The effect that this has is generally a slimming effect on the face, which you can imagine that for most people, for 95% of us, it's actually gonna be more flattering than the opposite. Short lighting has a slimming effect, and that's why we kind of placed it on this little scale here. As you go to this side, you're gonna slim down the face. Now, if someone has, most of us wanna look a little bit skinnier in photos, but if someone has a very narrow face to begin with, you probably don't wanna short light it. You wanna either use uh, direct or flat lighting or even broaden the face by using broad lighting. So here we have broad, which means gain, short, not broad, which means gain, but broad equals the effect that it has is kind of gaining or largening, enlargening the face. Short equals slimming the face, okay? How do we position? Well, we have our same key light right there, and this time the subject is basically looking away from the key light. So the broad side of the face, the side that you see the most of in camera is the side that's basically lit, okay? And the short side of the face is the one that falls into shadow. So we see the exact same thing here, and you can see if you compare these two photos side by side, this one is gonna be a little bit more flattering. It's gonna make Olivia's face look a little bit more narrow, a little bit more slim. This one is gonna broaden the face a little bit. Again, 99% of the time, 95% of the time, whatever percentage you guys like, okay? Just a high percentage of the time, your short side is gonna be the better and more flattering angle to shoot somebody. So to remember the simplest way to think about it is just short means that their chin is facing towards the light and broad means that their chin is basically going away from the light, okay? In re relation to where the camera is and the light and so forth. So that's really it. This is gonna be one of the last things that we kind of play into when we're positioning our subject in relation to where our primary or our key light is coming from is considering this and considering the overall effect that we wanna have in the image. If we want symmetry, if we want to show off and get that beauty and that perfect look, well, direct, flat, and symmetrical light techniques are wonderful. If we wanna short and slim the face a little bit to kind of slim down a person's uh, uh, figure or face, 
then short lighting is fantastic. And if we want to broaden someone who already has a very narrow features and very narrow face, then we would use broad lighting to open it up a little bit. Hopefully that all makes sense. Let's head on now to the next video. And what I'll do is I'll just open my left eye. When I'm shooting, I'll open my left eye and I'll just look out to the side. So if I'm shooting this way, my subject's right there, watch. I'm just gonna keep my left eye open. I just glance to the left to make sure that this is aimed right where I need it to. And then I can get my little test and see where it's hitting. And then I simply look back and fire. 